Good afternoon, my name is Austin. I'm a salesman here at Mercedes-Benz of Manchester, and today I'm very excited to be standing here to show you the brand new 2020 AMG GT 53 four-door. Now, looking at this vehicle, you can see it's the absolutely beautiful graphite gray metallic color. Underneath the hood, we have an AMG enhanced three liter inline six cylinder turbocharged engine. This makes 425 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. Looking at the front here, we'll first start with the headlights. As you can see, there is the beautiful multi-beam LED headlights with wraparound light bars. Moving around to the side, we'll take a look at the 21-inch cross-spoked forged AMG wheels. Behind those wheels, you can see we have the gray painted AMG brake calipers as part of the composite braking system of this vehicle. Moving around to the side view mirrors. Now, both side view mirrors are gonna have a small triangle in the bottom corner. That's gonna light up red when a vehicle's in your blind spot. Both side view mirrors are also auto folding and auto dimming. This vehicle has the keyless go system, which allows you to lock and unlock the door by placing your hand on the outside and inside of the door handle with the key in your pocket. That's gonna work on all four door handles as well as the trunk. Now moving around to the rear side of the AMG GT53, you'll see that we have the quad exhaust pipes down below. Those are part of the AMG performance exhaust system that this vehicle has. This vehicle also has a little fold down camera that comes out of this lip right here when you put the vehicle in reverse and it's gonna fold back in to the vehicle when you put the vehicle in park or drive, keeping that lens clean. You can pop open the hood by pulling this lever here. As you can see, we have plenty of cargo space back here. You can even lift up this little compartment which gives you access to even more cargo space down below. And to close the trunk, simply press this button right here. Now moving around to the passenger side, I'll open up the rear door to show you the beautiful black MB text with Dynamica interior. Now moving inside the rear seat of the AMG GT, as you can see, you don't have a middle seat back here. It is a four seater, but instead what you have is a little cargo space in the center here. You have two cup holders and you have two USB ports that you can use. These rear seats in this vehicle are also heated. You can press this button right here to activate the seat heating. You also have right in front here, can fold down this compartment to sh present a 115 volt outlet, a 12 volt outlet, and another USB port. Now moving into the front seat of the AMG GT, taking a look around, I first want to point out the absolutely beautiful 64 color ambient lighting in this vehicle. Now you can see it underneath the trim in the center console on the dash. You'll see that flows right into the trim on the door panels. You'll find it in the footwells, even in the climate control vents. Now there are, as I said, 64 colors and there are several effects that you can choose from. Now moving to the center console, I'll open that up to show you the space that you have inside. You also have two USB ports in there. Closing that and moving forward, we have our gear selector here. As you can see, you even have the AMG logo stamped into the leather on that little knob. Moving forward, we have the touchpad for the infotainment system. Use that just like you would use the touchpad on a laptop. Now, as you can see on the left and right of that touchpad, we have a few screens here. Now, these screens actually double as buttons that you can use to change different aspects or different characteristics of your drive. As you can see, this will turn on and off your auto start stop. This button right here will actually lower and raise the rear spoiler that this vehicle has. There are 
four different levels that you can raise and lower it to. Just below that button, you have your AMG Performance Exhaust Loud Mode button right here. That makes the exhaust note a little bit more loud and a little bit more deep. On the left side here, we have a button to turn off the electronic stability control. Above that, we have our suspension setting. Now, you can change between Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus with your suspension. Moving up, you can see we have our transmission mode here. You have manual mode and dynamic mode to choose from. And last, looking up, we have a little switch right here that's going to change between any of the five drive modes that this vehicle has you can see you have sport plus sport comfort individual and slippery mode now moving forward we have a very interesting small panel right here that acts as a button and a touchscreen as you can see when you hover your finger or even lay your finger down on one of these little menus, you can see on the infotainment screen that it actually shows you which button you are pressing down or which button you are hovering your finger over. Those are your quick menu buttons, so you can quickly just go to any one of those menu screens. And the button on the far left actually brings you right to your park assistant or your parktronic system. This vehicle can park itself. You can also, from this screen, select between any of the very many surround view camera views. Moving forward, we'll open up this small compartment, where, as you can see, you have your two cup holders down there. You have a wireless charging pad in that compartment as well. And right to the right of the charging pad, you have another USB port. When connected to your phone, that's going to give you access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in this vehicle. Now moving forward, we can take a look at the climate control just above that compartment. You'll see there are two zones in this vehicle, one for the driver and one for the front passenger. Moving over to the steering wheel. Now, now the first thing that I'll mention about the steering wheel is we have the AMG drive unit for the performance steering wheel in this vehicle. What this does is allow you to change all of the driving characteristics right from this little dial and these two buttons. As you can see, you can press and change the suspension setting. Also, from hitting this button, you can turn off the electronic stability control. And through this dial, you can change the drive mode altogether. On the right hand side of this steering wheel, you have a little black square here. That's actually a touchpad that you can use to control the infotainment system. This allows you to change most of the settings inside the vehicle without actually taking your hand off the steering wheel. You also have a switch down below that to answer and hang up phone calls and to access your favorite menu and activate the voice command system. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you have another touchpad here. As you can see, that's a touchpad to control the gauge cluster screen that this vehicle has. Now, there's a whole lot of other things that you can do with the gauge cluster screen. There are several different layouts. You also have a heads-up display in this vehicle. And one of the cool things that you can do with the gauge cluster screen is access the AMG performance system or the AMG performance menu. What this is going to allow you to do is see a lot of the characteristics and performance information as it's happening while you're driving. As you can see you have your G gauge, you have your boost, you have a little display showing how much horsepower and torque you are using at any given time. And you have a display showing you what all of the characteristics of your drive are. Now below that touchpad you can see we have our cruise control settings. This vehicle has the driver assistance package which includes radar cruise control, steering assist, lane keep assist, as well as a bunch of other really cool safety features. Moving over to the door panel, you'll see we have a couple switches here. Those are going to change the position of your seat. 
You also have three buttons here. Those are your memory modes where you can set three different preset seat positions. Above those switches, you have your heated seat button. You can press that to activate the heated seat. As you can see, you have three different settings of intensity. And you have this button right here, which allows you to access and control the passenger seat. Now looking inside the door pocket, you actually have inside there a little switch that's going to allow you to open and close the rear hatch. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Austin. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me directly at 603-669-6788. My extension is 220-211. You can also email me at a l u n t at driveprime.com.